Hello all, my name is Krishnayak and welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, in this video we are going to discuss about Google Dataset Search. And if you remember guys, in one of my previous video I had actually uploaded something called as free, best free datasets for data science projects. Let it be machine learning, deep learning. And I had mentioned various links like Kaggle. Kaggle is one amazing source where you'll be able to get whole lot of datasets. You have something called as Quandle.coms with respect to, you know, if you really want to know all the stock prices of different different companies so this particular data set was actually present in this quandle you also had uci machine learning repository here also you have some amazing data sets with respect to different different problem statements so here you can see some of the example like heart disease bank marketing car evaluation and many more like forest fires and student performance now similarly you have some more websites like data.gov and world bank open data right and if you really want anything with respect to recommendation systems like movies, data set and all, you have movie lens, lens kit and many more. Before going ahead with respect to this particular video, this video has been sponsored by Unacademy. Unacademy has launched Unacademy Premier League for all the GATE or ESC aspirants. Through this test, students can test their preparation weekly and win exciting prizes. Apart from all this guys, the students will also get a detailed analysis of their test along with the All India rank. The next UPL playoffs weekly test is happening on 24th October 11am and the UPL finals is actually happening on 31st October 11am. In this playoff, you can also win some amazing Amazon vouchers if you are in the top 15 ranks. Now coming to the announcement from the UPL league stage, these are the winners guys. So from the chemical engineering, you can see the top 15 people. You can pause and read out the names. With respect to civil engineering, you have another set of 15 people. Then you, in computer science and IT, you also 15 people are also selected for this particular award. And with respect to mechanical engineer, electrical engineer, and electronics and communication. So congratulations for all the winners. If you really want to know more about Unacademy Premier Link, the link and all the information is given in the description of this particular video. Please go and have a look. Now, there are so many sources and still people, still they ask me, Krish, I really don't understand like how many sites I have to refer for various kind of data sets. What if there could have been just one source where I could have just searched for the data set and we could have got it, right? Isn't it pretty much amazing if we had some kind of website like that? So there is where this Google data set search has come, guys. All you have to do is that just search the data set that you want. You'll be getting all the suggestion with respect to the data sets that you want. Download it and start working it. Probably this particular data set will also be able to search the data sets within the Kaggle itself, within your data.gov site, World Bank Open Data Sets or Group Lens or UCI Machine Learning Repository. In, search, uh, in short, this will be searching all the data sets and it will be giving you all the results over there. Now, First of all, you need to understand what is this Google dataset search. So you can see that Google dataset uh, search is a search engine for from Google that helps researcher locate online data that is freely available to us. Google dataset search complements Google Scholar, the company search engine for academic studies and reports. So just understand this whole definition is taken from the Wikipedia. You can actually go through this link and you can get to know more about Google dataset search, right? Isn't it amazing where you just have a search engine specifically for only data sets, right? Let it be with respect to any kind of machine learning problem statement or deep learning problem statement. You will definitely be able to search any kind of data set searches. Now let's try something. Okay. Suppose in Kaggle data set, you have a lot of data sets itself. Suppose if I say some of the deep learning techniques that I had actually done, you know, so lung disease prediction, suppose I think this was the data set with respect to pneumonia. Yeah, chest x-rays, pneumonia and all these things are there. You can see, right, all these particular data sets. Now, here you'll be able to see all this data set. Now, let me just search that same data set over here. So I'll say lungs disease x-rays, x-ray images, okay. I'm just writing it somewhere here. You can see over here, guys, right, it has, it has just brought us the result with respect to Kaggle only. Now you have this uh, pulmonary chest x-ray abnormalities, you have NIX chest x-rays, you have with respect to pneumonia, you have 4D computed topography and lung function imaging in small mammals and not only that guys, it is giving you everything with respect to a specific topic that you have actually searched. Probably it may be coming from Kaggle most of the time but here 
other resources are also been taken up other sources have also been taken up like this monash university and remember these all are free to use you know these all are free to use for education purpose right you can actually download it and here also you can see some of the examples nih chest x-ray data set of 14 common thorax disease categories so here is all your different different uh, examples of this common thorax diseases you also have with respect to tuberculosis again you have this chest x-ray and probably in kaggle again you have to search for that specific thing right similarly take this particular example right so there are so many data sets that are actually available right and uh, you'll be able to see that there is a data set with respect to one wine quality also if you remember wine quality you have that in kaggle also you have that in uh, tensorflow.org you have that in data.world right so in this particular data set also you'll be able to explore that uh, you also have by UCI, right? And again, the source is actually Kaggle itself. But you have other other information. The best thing will be that when you are exploring from this Google dataset search, you will be getting various sources. So the dataset will also be different. In that specific way, you'll be able to work in all this particular problem statement very, very easily. Okay. Now let me just find out some more data sets, some more data sets, some interesting data sets, suppose uh, I really want to find out. So I'll write object detection, object detection. I'll just search for object detection. Okay. So probably I'll be ab able to get many images, many, many data set altogether. Right. So here uh, is one example. Again, you can see that most of the time it is selecting Kaggle, but uh, there are also other data sets and it depends on the rank of the website and obviously Kaggle is pretty much popular. So in this particular case, you can see that you have fruit images for object detection. You can explore that. Uh, you have vehicle open images, object detection data set, indoor object detection data set. And here you can basically read about this particular stuff. And when you explore this particular website, guys, probably you'll be able to get that whole data set over here itself. Now see, this is the data set that you actually have. And here is your zip file, right? Here is your zip file and you can download it. This is basically the annotation. Annotation in object detection, what happens is that all the annotation is basically put up in XML file where you actually give the coordinates of the images and these are your real images itself. So all this data set will be pretty much available to you. You can preview it, you can download it. However you want to use it, you can actually use it. Again, these all are completely free for education purpose. Okay. Now if I take the example of wine quality, suppose uh, I take this particular data, I explore that data dot world. So here you will be also able to see the data sets. Now you can see the uh, CSV file, right? You can also uh, download this, you know, in order, in order to download, you just have to join data world and there will be some conditions with respect to various websites over here, right? So here probably you have to join it and you'll be able to see it. Isn't it amazing, right? You are able to get anything. Suppose you really want to work on GAN data set. Suppose if I write GAN data sets, I don't have any idea about GAN, you know? So here you'll be able to see material data on GAN by material projects. You have cycle GAN, explore at Gaggle, uh, sorry, Kaggle. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I was talking about GAN, it became Gaggle. Come on. <laughs> so it's Kaggle. Okay. So here you also have some data sets with respect to from NASA itself. So you can also explore this. So you can see some more information of the data set over here also. And various other things, right? Material data on GAN by material projects and many more information that you can see over here. Isn't it amazing? Because now this has just become one point where you are able to access the complete data set itself right so just imagine like it is pretty much amazing now you don't have to refer various websites like uci kaggle uh, and probably if you if you all know that okay if a data set is present somewhere else uh, definitely you can actually take that particular data set now suppose if i if i search for stock data okay suppose if i search for stock data so you can see that uh, snp stock data probably Okay, what I feel is that with respect to this, this stock data will not be an updated one like how we have from 1986 to 2018. If we really want to get the real time stock data, probably I can use this Quandle. Uh, so in that particular thing, I think there will be a difference. Other than that, I feel it is pretty much good. If I really want sales data, sales growth of 
glo- global rug- luxury good in 2017 by countries you know this this information is also pretty much good now if i and this is a very very good website guys which is called as www.statista.com because i've seen so many data sets over here you have this in pdf format excel format png format and ppt format with respect to all the data sets and definitely you can do a lot of exploratory data analysis for different different kind of data sets and this data sets are pretty much important right you know if i if i if i really want to work on the gdp growth of various countries like uh, if i'm an economist and i really want to work on gdp growth of countries i'll go go and search for it and with respect to that i will be getting that specific you know data sets itself now you can see that growth of the global gross domestic product if i go and explore in this particular website i'll be able to get this i'll down, try to download it from here okay and uh, probably the basic account i think you'll be able to download the basic statistics information just register it over here and probably wherever you will be able to see the free version you will be able to download it right so basic account i think there is some uh, free uh, but for a single account you'll be charged somewhere on 39 dollars per month so if you are a startup if you are a company probably you'll be looking for this kind of data sets to work with okay and probably i think uh, this statista website also gives you apis you know to explore some of the data sets which is also pretty much good right so so in all this google data set search is an amazing website where you'll be able to get a lot of information with respect to data data sets you don't have to explore so many websites at once but instead just focus on one particular website I'll say all in one data sets will be available over here because this is just traversing through each and every websites that are available in the internet world even kaggle is also listed over here you can see all the other things so this is just l- acting like a data set search engine which is pretty much amazing so definitely this will be very very handy for the people who are actually interested in machine learning and deep learning so i hope you like this particular video please to subscribe the channel if you have not already subscribed i'll see you all in the next video have a great day thank you one and all bye bye